Good morning everyone, welcome to my studio. Coming to you today with a really quick video as I was working on my September Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge slash October Daily. I was working with these paper bags, treat bags, and I had an epiphany, but I knew that I wasn't going to be able to show you via photos or walk you through it, so I'm just going to do a really quick video. This is a gusseted treat bag. Just your basic lunch sack. And what I've done is I've used my pick tool and I've just kind of opened this up. It doesn't matter whether or not you tear it because you're going to cut it off anyway. But it just, if it's opened up, you can work with it a little easier. So I just take and slide my pick tool up underneath that seam and pop it open. Just like that. Now because I want to make sure that I get a good smooth cut, what I did was I have my craft iron on about... That one just does not want to give up the glue. Of course it doesn't. There we go. I have my, pick, my iron on about two, and I'm just going to give the bag a quick press so that that evens that out. And then I'm coming back in with my trimmer, and I'm cutting off right where that bottom of that bag starts at the bottom of the bag and clip that off now you don't want to necessarily throw these away because i don't have scissors handy but you can take and cut those out and have automatic bases for collage for banners so don't throw those away okay now i know that my book is my signatures are roughly six inches wide and eight and a half inches long so i didn't want to lose and i'm going to use a different bag here i didn't want to lose any of the house here and the pump the jack-o-lantern at the bottom so i chose to cut the bags this way and cut off of the top at the eight and a half so i went like this And I got my width first, or my length first. So there's my eight and a half. Now, here's where this comes in handy. I'm going to go ahead and open this bag up just a sliver so that that comes open. Again, that top that we saved off, don't throw that away. It's great for making uh, pull tabs on tags or collaging on the bottom of tags and tuck spots. Now here's what I did. Because this is going to be too long, too wide, with that just opened up, it comes out to be seven, and I only need it six. So what I did was where I had this side of the bag, that was this side here when the bag was open. This was the side that's got the gusset. I just took and folded that in on that one crease, and I went ahead and creased it in. And then I went ahead and ironed the rest of the bag out. Now I can create a new fold by moving this over. Like there. And now I have a piece. I have a new page insert for my signature. That is roughly five and three quarter. It's okay if it's a little narrow because I'm probably going to wind up trimming this excess off anyway and I'll, I had these signatures all put together last night and then I discovered that hey the treat bag would make an awesome page insert so then this will fit in to my signature just like this I can do something on the back here to cover this paper seam I'll glue here and here and then I'll have a tuck spot or I can leave it as is put something underneath and just use this as a flip out. I can do it either way. But then I've got from a new signature insert from paper bags. Now isn't that pretty nifty? Um, I'll be coming back to you here in a couple of days, probably later part of the week maybe, showing you the signatures and the book all put together. I thought I'd have a sneak peek here for you, but I must have moved it. I've been organizing this morning. But Paper bag turned signature. 
Thanks for watching. Creative blessings. Have a great day.